Wisdom Nuggets, August 29th, 2022. Our strong habitation, dear beloved brethren, greetings to you in Jesus' name. This charge is meant to strengthen someone. May you be strengthened in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 71 verse 3 that be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandments to save me for thou art my rock and fortress. Our God is always and will forever be a strong habitation. However, the strength of his habitation to each of us will be determined by each person's relationship with him. For instance, while Jehoshaphat made God his complete strong habitation due to his reverence for him, Ahab trusted more in his trickery and did not really trust God. That's in 2 Chronicles chapter 18 verses 31 to 34. So that when the enemy faced Jehoshaphat directly, God delivered him as he cried unto the Lord. While someone throwing his bow at random succeeded in killing Ahab even with his camouflage. Jehoshaphat was the king of Judah while Ahab was the king of Israel. Both belonged to the nation loved by God. I decree that as we make God our complete strong habitation from now, no evil will befall us. No plague will come near our abode. In Jesus' name, Amen. One clear way through which God expects us to make him our strong habitation is by us keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous, rather, they are for our good. But then, because they usually help suppress the excesses of our flesh, most people feel the commandments of God are grievous. For example, God commanded Abraham to leave his people for a place he did not know. He left the place of comfort for the unknown location. He could not totally keep the command, for he took lots with him. Hence, the discovery of the promised place was delayed. That's in Genesis 13 verse 14 to 16. I decree to you, our breakthrough will no longer be delayed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Also, God commanded Noah to build an ark so that he and his people will be delivered from the flood. He kept the detailed command that's in Genesis chapter 6 and Genesis chapter 8. This ensured that himself and family were preserved. We therefore see that the commandments of God are meant to save us. And it is in keeping them that we create the platform for God to be our rock and fortress. I pray that the Lord will shield us, defend us, and protect us from every plan and purposes of the enemy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Wisdom Nuggets for today God is the defender of those who hide behind this person and delight in his principles. Have a wonderful week. Wisdom Nuggets was written by Pastor Adimola Adigbite and read by Dayo Falope. God bless you.